Okay people, this is himself. Welcome to another Tekken 7 King Guide. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the longest grapple combo that King has. I'm also going to show you the easy way to do both versions of the screwdriver. But before we get into that, there's two things you need to know. The first is button mapping. If you have extra buttons on your pad or stick, this is the perfect way to make use of them. If you have one button, map it to 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 aka key charge. If you have another, map it to 1 plus 2 and if you have a third, map it to 1 plus 3. What you're going to find is that these three can make all of his chain throws easy to do and the best part is that there is no rule against it. The second thing is setups. There's no point learning these throws if you can't land the starter, so that's what we have here. Now the Jaguar step takes about 20 frames and then it's another 12 frames for the clutch, so doing this in neutral is a mistake. Instead, you have to do it when you have a major frame advantage. One place is after while standing 2-2, this puts you at plus 12 and it spins them around, so in most cases, people just block. To start people ducking, you can use FF1 and this itself is a setup. It's a safe mid, but on hit it puts you at plus 14, so it's similar to while standing 2-2. A third option is back 2-1, this one's a bit iffy because it only catches tech roll right, but if you get a hard read, it might be worth doing. Now against duckers, you can do Jaguar step 3, but if they just stay down, then it's best just to abandon the tech. With that all out the way, let's get on with the real meat of this video. The chain begins with Cobra Clutch, and this has two inputs, 1 plus 4 and 2 plus 3. It's important that you mix these up, because the first is a 1 break and the second is a 2 break, and you want to keep your opponent guessing. From there, it's Cobra Twist. This is 1, 4, 2, 3, and what's great about it is that it's unbreakable, so basically, you're getting the damage for free. Once you land that, it is possible to key charge all the way to screwdriver, but there is a major flaw here, and it's this. Almost every throw is a one break, so against anyone who's decent, they'll realize this and just break the chain. Because of that, we need to know how to do both versions of every throw. Luckily, it's not as hard as it looks. After Cobra Twist, we have Reverse DDT, and the way to do this is to hit 2, hold it down, hit 1, hold that down as well, and then hit 3 or 4. If you go for 3, it's a 1 break, and if you go for 4, it's a 2 break. Next step is Stretch Bomb. The way to do this is to hit 1 plus 2 3 times, but you want to hold it down on the 3rd. After that, hit 3 or 4. Just like DDT, 3 gives you a 1 break, and 4 gives you a 2. From there, if you want to go for screwdriver, you need to do backdrop. The good thing here is that there's no break, so you can just mash it out. That then brings us to burning hammer, and this was a bit awkward. The way that I do it is 1 plus 2, 3, hold it down, 4, hold that down as well, and then hit 1 or 2. Now because you have to hold down 3 and 4, it can be difficult to reach 1 and 2, but the way that I do it is use my thumb and fourth finger for 3 and 4, and then my index or middle for 1 and 2. That finally brings us to Screwdriver, and the command for this looks complicated, but it really isn't. What you do is triple key charge, 1 plus 2, hold it down, and then hit 3 or 4. Now if you've done this right, and you haven't been broken, then you'll do 126 damage. And as a bonus, you also get to hear them scream. While we're here, we might as well look at Sol Naciente. This comes after backdrop and it's a 1 plus 2 break, so basically it's an extra mix up to burning hammer. The way to do it is 1 plus 2, 4 and then double key charge. Now while they end up close to you, there is no OK, key, but what you can do is chest bump. This will touch them if they stand or back roll and it puts you at plus 3. It also beats out wake up kicks. To get them to duck, you can use D3. This is only minus 12 and it also hits people on the ground. So that's the screwdriver chain, but what about the A chain combo? Well, we need to go back to stretch one for this. Previously, we did backdrop, but what we need to do here is cannonball instead. This is also unbreakable and you can do it by mashing 1 plus 2. From there, we have Manhattan drop. The easy input for this is 3 plus 4, 1 plus 2, hold it down and then 4. After that, do a quadruple key charge. What this will do is give you the victory bomb, and that throw has no escape.
What that then does is bring you to the final part and this is a mix up between Giant Swing and Muscle Buster. Giant Swing is the one break and you can do it simply by key charging. Muscle Buster is the two break and this isn't that hard either. All you do is 3-1-2 and then key charge twice. Now the weakness here is Manhattan Drop because this is a two break but we do have a mix up. Power Bomb. This is a one break and all you have to do is key charge three times. Once that lands, you're at the final part again. Now in the past, I used to think these chains were useless because there's so many places where you can get broken and if you want high damage, why not just go for the crash dash ones instead? But in season four, things may change because if the health is going up, it might be worth going for the big damage now. Now the next thing you guys should do is check out the two videos you see on screen. Both of these stem from Cobra Clutch and the Triple Trouble has damn good OK. Now if you've already watched those, then make sure you hit the bell icon because once season 4 lands, there's going to be more King videos and you don't want to miss out.